Oh, hey, didn't see you guys down there. Sorry, just doing a little cleaning up around here, pretending to be Ricochet. I'm just kidding, but seriously, guys, what the hell's going on around here? All these big name streamers, Shadow Band, and a few of them even Perma Band, but really, are all these streamers cheating? Let's talk about it and all the possibilities that could be on a video that begins right now. What's up, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Hoppa, and if you guys have not heard an absolute boatload of self-proclaimed professional Warzone players recently got shadow banned, and a couple of them actually got perma banned. And what many are calling false bans, most likely in their opinions from mass reports, while others are blaming it on a recent detection related to features within AC Diamond's aimbot. Coincidentally, most of these streamers, if not all of them, are known for their high kill gameplays. While many people might chalk this up to the fact that many of the top Warzone creators out there get into these bot lobbies by using VPNs designed to break skill-based matchmaking. And even some might even think that, you know, now Ricochet and Cheat's picking up some steam, they might even be targeting VPN users. And to be totally honest with you guys, none of of us know truly what these players have gotten shadow banned or perma banned for except possibly team ricochet but could any of these streamers that recently got shadow banned could their paths possibly replicate that of the recently perma banned 5x5 who many were adamant wasn't cheating prior to her perma ban even some of the creators that find themselves shadow banned today reached out in support of what they tried to label as a false shadow ban of 5x5 before she inevitably got perma banned. Actually, listen to 5x5 explain how clueless she happens to be even after she had direct contact with Activision regarding her ban. Uh, what happened? Yes, it, I never hacked, I never cheated, I got banned, and I never cheated. They said they found something on my computer, but there's nothing on my computer. I mean, unless it's something that came from a virus or something, but that's the gist of it. I never cheated, but it's not like I was caught cheating, you know what I mean? I wasn't caught cheating. I got banned for not cheating. What the fuck? Yeah, you guys not buying it either? What's even more ridiculous is previously permabanned streamer Wagnificent. How's my game so bright in video settings? What does it say, Wag? I go, dude, I clicked on the game. I, I pulled up the game. It says account permanently banned. Oh, Wait, right. it actually does say that. Yeah, that guy lost his first account in engine owning band lead over a year ago and has yet to get it back had to say this on the matter shortly after five by five announced that her permaban was indefinite dude you gotta be kidding me if this isn't the pot calling the kettle black I, I i don't know man while a shadow ban isn't indicative of any sort of cheating or any cheat injection as some of them could actually be from mass reports of an account although i'd always thought that the whitelist prevented these kind of things from happening what if and this is a big what if so definitely you know bear with me here What if Team Ricochet implemented new statistical criteria that when met requires that that account be manually reviewed? Pausing these top tier streamers that use VPNs to break skill-based matchmaking, granting them the ability to carry a five plus KD. But what if Team Ricochet found that within the recent ban wave due to the detection of AC Diamond's aimbot features, what if they found out that a lot of these flagged accounts belong to people on their whitelist? What if they found out an absurd amount of these accounts belong to highly touted streamers? What if, and again, these are huge what ifs. What if they decided to shadow ban these streamers and manually review them instead of instantly perma banning them like they did the majority of the accounts that got flagged recently. What if they're actually trying to determine which of these creators are legit and which ones need to be swept out the door? And if this is the route that they're taking, then I applaud the efforts, but I still find the plan is very poorly executed. Because if they're not willing to come out publicly and not in a streamer's DMs and to say, hey, so-and-so was banned because we found the use of unauthorized third-party softwares on their PC, then they leave the door open for streamers like 5x5 to never have to admit their wrongdoings, never have to divulge the true reasonings behind their bans, and continue to lie to their community and others. 
what do you guys think does uh team ricochet need to be a little bit more transparent in their dealings with these banned streamers and the reasonings behind shadow bans and perma bans that we've seen with all these top tier streamers on warzone here lately or are you just happy to see that they're taking the cheating issue in call of duty a little bit more seriously when it comes to its top players within let me know down in the comments and if you guys enjoyed the video do me a huge favor smash the like button for me and subscribe with the notification bells enabled if you want to see more content just like this also i recently started streaming on twitch at twitch.tv backslash it's hoppa swing by later drop me a follow if you're not busy and with that you guys have made it to another video i've been a Hoppa, and in the wise words of french philosopher dennis ditro who said we swallow greedily any lie that flatters us but we sip only little by little at the truth we find a bitter catch you guys on the next one mahalo